Hey friends, it's Troy and Chase here, and today is a new video! So the other day we were driving down the road, just having a good time, singing along to the radio, and all of a sudden I look back and this car is like literally on my ass. Like, it was almost like I lost my virginity, it was that close. And I was thinking, I'm like, I'm really annoyed by this and we complain about it forever. And we thought it'd be like the best idea ever to like tell you some more of our like annoyances or pet peeves. Because who doesn't love rants? Rants. Rants. So in short, here are our top five pet peeves. Going off the car one, that means the first one is when people ride your ass down the road. I do not understand why you have to do that. Where do you have to go? That's so important. I'm pretty sure grandma will hold dinner off an extra five minutes for you to get there. You do not have to speed. If your wife is in the car next to you, or if you're gay and your husband's in the car next to you giving birth, or maybe dying, then I understand. You can like, you know, like honk your horn or something and I'll let you pass. You have flashers. Oh yes, you have flashers. But to ride this booty, right, you can't see it, but to ride that booty all the way down the highway and not even pass, like why? 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 Our next pet peeve is when people chew. This is a really common one. A lot of people really find this annoying. When you chew at dinner, it just really kills my appetite. If you're chewing, I know some things, it's kind of hard not to like make snapping noises, or slurping noises, or any strange noises that you make when you eat, but please try to stop down. Nothing makes me stop eating and look up and like, more than when someone's at the dinner table just They make it into a song? <laughs> what song is that? The third pet peeve that we, or at least I have, is whenever, you know, you're just walking down the hall at school, or you're like, trying to get your order at McDonald's, and somebody, like, you know, like, meets you, and they don't shut up. They talk so long and it's like, can I please just get my order to, can I please just get my bacon, egg and cheese biscuit with a milk and a hash brown and just go? Nope, I can't because you're telling me about your kids and how they're failing out of college. The kids that I don't even like, why do I care? Why tell me this? Why can't you be like, hey Troy, how are you? And I'll be like, good, how are you? And then you'll be like, good, and then we can just separate and never have to talk for another like 10 months. Why do you have to ramble to me? I just don't get it. I don't get it at Our next pet peeve. This one, I haven't consulted with Troy on this one, but I'm sure he'll agree with me. It's a little gross, so prepare yourselves. One of my biggest pet peeves is when people leave their remains in the toilet. Oh my god, yes! Or, or either their remains are gone, but the toilet is a little like messy. Like, do you not have the do you not have the consciousness to look down and be like, oh, I should clean that because someone's gonna come in here after me and be really grossed out. I have a story about this. So I last year I lived in the dorms with 20 other guys. Ooh. You can just imagine my pain. But one time I walked into the stall. And I not only saw poop on like one side, but like on a fourth of the other side, it's like a little blood like on the toilet. Why are you telling them that? I just don't understand what happened. What was that person doing? What was he doing in the bathroom that left poop on one side and blood on the other? Like what was he doing? I feel like he murdered somebody over here and just missed the toilet. Or he took a murderous poop, I don't know. Don't leave your remains in the toilet. Pay attention to your surroundings and know that there are other people in this world that have to do their business. Mm -hmm. 422 is a good day because that's the day you're supposed to protect the earth. <laughs> and our last pet peeve, number 
Cinco! And this one's pretty ironic, actually. People who do not take good care of their dogs. You should have said pets, because it's pet peeve. Or pets. I led you right into that one. If I go to a house and see you, like, scream at your, like, dog because your dog is, like, having a good old time, I will Animals are so, like, cute and I just want to hold them all. And, like, the, just the fact that... Thank you. Just the fact that somebody will, like, not be nice to them. Oh, man. Be sweet to your pets, everybody. I will find you. They make you happy when you know. They do a lot for you emotionally. They love you even though obviously you can't love yourself. Yeah. They love you even though you leave them at home alone and like sometimes you don't pet them. And but, Never. but no matter how upset you make them, they're always like super excited to see you no matter what. You will never find something more excited to see you in your life than your pet when you get home. We hope you guys liked our top five pet peeves. Tell us any of your pet peeves in the comments below. We'll be happy to hear them and we are curious to know. Yes, we are. We love all of you guys and we will see you on Friday with a new video. Watch out for it. Mwah. Bye. Bye y'all.